I'll just cut these horns off and give them a coat of paint. I'll just mark my hinges on here while it's laying down. Nine from the bottom, seven from the top, and then I've just put two in between. You could put like two at the top, helps hold the weight. I think the four is more than enough for these, so I've just evened them out. I ain't got my tripod in, so all I can do is I'm going to work off this straight edge here. Needs to come over a bit to even it up. But what I'm going to do is I've got that hard up against the frame at the top there and at the bottom. I've got a little packer there. And I'll see what it needs across. But what I'm going to do is stand a door in and that'll tell me if it's something like because nothing's plumb or level. I've just got to try and make this fit basically. So I've got some packers in there that's holding this door tight up to the top there. The gap's okay. There's a little gap there at the top there so I can push this frame up a bit. But that's looking not bad. So what I can do now is get a fixing in the frame at the top here. One at the bottom. And I can look at the other door. See if it needs to move up and down a bit. I'll stand them both in maybe. So I've got some packers under that corner holding that up and that gap's looking all right so i'll just get a fixing in at the bottom there fixing at the top check it against my door again so i'm fixing this on i put one in the top one right up there i'm just putting one in here seven mil bit for brown plugs Number six, posi screw. And a three point posi bit in your drill. Oh, forward. All right, so one bottom. Got one in top up there. I'm going to stand my door back in just to check it's okay and I can think about getting some fixings down this side uh, that door's just stood in place oh, I'm quite happy with that gap up there so same again put two screws one top one bottom All right, so now I've got a fixing in the bottom both sides and the fixing at the top both sides Use me level, just, just as a straight edge, and I'll pack it out, get some screws in down here. It's nearly level. It fits the doors though, that's what's most important. Right, so that side, I've got five screws in. I try to get them into the decent bricks, not these little pieces. This side is a little trickier, working with that dodgy wall. So I ended up putting six in there. But they're all fairly good. Just stood the door back in. That looks good. That looks good. So I'm going to stand this other one in just to check again, make sure it's okay, and I can start cutting hinges. use two hands on this. It's a bit awkward, these little thin sides, trying to get it square. 
So I just line that up with the door. Uh, the screws that come with these hinges are always a bit shit. They might be stainless, but they're shit. So I'm using these hinge tight. They look alright. They're a little bit like drywall screws in a way, the way they're shaped. So I'm always a bit scared of popping the heads off. see from there. Right, you see my holes are exactly centre so what I'll do is put one in that's got its hole towards this edge so as it goes in it'll pull the hinge in That's them four done. You see there's one, two, three knuckles on this leaf, two on that one. It doesn't matter which way around it goes, whether it's three on here, two on there. The writing, I put it so that this writing is all on the inside, it doesn't matter. If there's horizontal writing, it's nice to have it. But these ones I've just done all the same with that sill on the outside. Just like that consistency. Alright, so those hinges are on. I've left this one off just so that I can use it for cutting in these ones. Alright, so they're all cut. I drilled the top ones. Just the top ones using that hinge that I had off. That's back on now. So I should be able to lift the door up, get a couple of screws in there, and then swing all these hinges and they should fit absolutely perfect. Looking well. With a little pack on floor there. I just managed to get that bottom screw in. Put the bottom one in because then that'll that'll swivel into that. So now I can push the doors out and see if I can locate these. Right, that's in, that's good, that's in, might be just fractionally low but it's in, so I think I'm just going to attempt it, I'll go up there have a look at that gap, right it's maybe a little low but I'm happy with that. What I'll do is, when I put my screws in, I'll put them towards the top of the hole so everyone's pushing these just a little bit up. It's like I said, that one's a bit low. So I'll put my screw in the top of the hole. That'll push everything up. So yeah, put it upright 
so it should lift it and pull it in at the same time. Don't know how much it'll move, but. I couldn't see if it can move without that moved it, but I'll do that pretty much on every one. It'll slowly all push it up. Uh, it's getting dark, but I don't want to come back tomorrow and all these beads are wet. So I'm going to glaze it tonight. I just dry fitted that. That fits quite nice. I'll paste the bead in that came off the bottom. There's only maybe two mil, which is what I was working on. So I'm just going to seal it on the outside. Just silicone it on the outside. I've got some low modular stuff that the glazers have supplied. It's low modular, it's something to do with the silicone, the, the solvent in it. It doesn't break down the, the board of here. It doesn't break down the sealant around the edge. The doors got glazed last night. Let's cover this gap. Got these strips to go on. Uh, it's going to be quite difficult for me to make that disappear completely, I think. So I'm just going to sand off this edge and sand off this one. So you'll see a line, but it's... So I've just pinned and glued this strip on. And when I shut this one... Gap's okay up there. And from about about here, it starts getting tighter a little bit, not a lot. So I'm just going to plane that leg a little bit. And I'll have to check the outside. Right, so I'm going to be planing mainly on this inside edge. Because although the outside needs doing, I'll do it in two stages. I'll sort the inside out one out first. I'll touch on the outside, but mainly the inside. Didn't take much. That'll do me. I don't want it tight in the middle. So now I'll use a mist stick, I'll work out what needs to come off the outside. Gap's okay. Starts getting a bit tighter here. Then just a blade width there. So I need to plane this one out on the outside, pretty much the same as the out inside. And because I'm planing almost like a wedge off there, I'm planing next to nothing off here. But a few millimetres down there, I'll start at the bottom, one little short one, then a slightly longer one, then a slightly longer one, and a longer one, and then a final one that will clean it all up. If you work the other way, then you end up with lots of bits. Anyway, don't matter. Alright, so I've planed a bit off. I think that'll do. So I'll do it same again, I'll sand this edge off, sand that one off, so you see it. Show the other one. So 
Do you get that line? I like that, it's honest. And let's see how that goes. It's a generous gap, but I don't mind. It's probably going to end up sticking. I reckon this seal needs about about six mil. I reckon this seal needs about a six mil gap. So I'll take these beads off, shut the doors, and then use this as a packer. I'm going to use a packer instead. It's a bit manky that bit of board. So, six more packer in there. Well, I've learned that you don't want to put these on too tight, you know, with the sealant pressing hard against here. There's paint to go on this, but also I find that it just it just it just binds a little bit. So I've got that gap there. That's six mil all the way around. Let's get a few more screws in. I'll check this one while I'm at it. Six mil It'll close up when it catches on. Uh, I just put a couple of turn buttons on so that one opens. The other one I put a couple of blocks on the outside so it don't open. But that's it for now. Until next year.